Hello, <laughs> family and friends, how are you today? My name is Praise, for your favorite family life coach. And you know, no one treated better than this dude here. I just love you, and I want to say thank you for all this joy. What do I have on the front burner today? It's very simple. Um, is there anything wrong with a lady who is 40 and she doesn't want to get married? Well, society says something is wrong with her. I don't see anything wrong with her. Because a human being must be able to choose what she wants for life. Um, there is no template anywhere that says you must get married. Right? But if you want to get married, you have to do it right. But wherein you don't feel the need to get married, you want to focus on your career, why don't you do it? Now, the problem is culture, tradition, religion, everyone wants to get married. Not because people really care about you, because if they really care about you, they will, they will bother about the choice of the person you get married to. Right? People are going married to white beaters, people are going married to husband killers. Right? So how did they escape under the radar to find themselves in marriage? I always say to people, marriage is for two who are whole. And what it takes to sustain a marriage, it's not, got nothing to do with it. Well, it's got something to do with love, but love is not enough. What it takes to sustain a marriage is knowledge. The only reason people perish is not for lack of prayer or lack of love, it's for lack of knowledge. Because your knowledge base will be tested on knowledge. Right, need must be able to transfer, must be able to transfer to wisdom where you can apply. The knowledge that's not applicable is just an information. Now, having said that, you can actually live your life and be fulfilled. Mother Teresa, we all clap for her, she was never married. Jesus Christ, we clap for him. I mean, we all, many of us worship and literally love him. He was never married. Apostle Paul, that we love so much, was never married. There are lots of people, condo is right, um, up there. We have loads of people that inspire many of us. They are not married. So, who says to you that you need to be married to be a parent? Parenting is responsibility. The moment you decide to take responsibility for a child somewhere, someone that you mentor, someone you take care of, become a parent. It's got nothing to do with conception. It's got nothing to do with sperm donation. So, don't let people force you. Because we have literally forced people into bad marriages simply because we think something is wrong with them so i have seen ladies who have sown seeds and in 48 hours a guy calls and they run into marriage and many of them are out it's about the quality of the person i think that's what we need to begin to emphasize right a man who cannot control his anger doesn't need a ring he needs well maybe if he needs a ring maybe he needs a cage people need to be able to undo their emotions work on themselves improve themselves before they get married Right? Whole people is what must marry all people. Half big people, people who are compromised at the realm of their mind, who are not old, who are damaged, who damage other people because hurting people will hurt others. So please, can we allow our single a breathing space? Can we allow them to live their lives? You want your daughter married because you want a grandchild, right? You don't care the kind of man she's gonna get married to, right? Is that what you want? You want her married so that she can share testimony? You don't care. The quality of the guy she's gonna get married when she begins to get beaten you still the same person who's gonna tell her endure hardship till she gets killed i think our world is better when we have people who know what they want and they go after what they want that's not to say i don't believe in marriage i am married I've been married for 10 years and i believe people need to get married but we need to get it right if they are not ready they are not ready let's not force them into marriage and trust me if you don't feel you want to get married you are in good company jesus was never married but he's a father to many of us, right? Apostle Paul inspired many of us. He's never married, right? Mother Teresa never married. She inspires lots of people. So you're in a good company. You can start a company, maximize your life. You don't need marriage to be fulfilled. Fulfillment is maximizing your potential, become all that God has ordained, and being a blessing to the world in service to God and humanity. And I think you can do that. There are lots of friends around you. Who can support you to achieve that? So why don't you smile if you think something is wrong with you? Because as far as I'm concerned, nothing is wrong with you. Thank you very much. Till I come your way again next time, keep loving and keep living. And remember, I honor you. My name is Grace Forward.